Hi, it's Nell, and today I am going to be doing a repotting spree. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride. So stick around for that. The first thing I'm starting with is this very large snake plant. I'm jumping into the present time. It's now October 15th. I filmed the bulk of this video on uh, May 30th. So it's about five and a half months later, but there was a whole clip with no sound. So there's just a couple things I want to tell you. Uh, first of all, there are a lot more details in the blog post, including links to all the materials used, pictures, um, a lot more stuff in there. So be sure to check that out. That's at the top of the description box and also on our website, Joyous Garden. Dot com, but I wanted to tell you uh, about the pot. The pot is a very large pot. I'm going up more than a size, which I usually do on snake plants, but I'm going up two sizes on this one because it was so pot bound and it's so big. Now the pot, on the inside of the pot, it's almost 17 inches wide and it's 12 and a half inches high. So I'm gonna add a lot of chunk chunky stuff into this mix so that it drains well because it is so, um, the pot is so big and I want the drainage and the aeration to both be excellent with this plant. I don't want any chances of overwatering. So I basically use the two thirds potting soil and one third of my DIY succulent and cactus mix for this. I put more of the pebble in the bottom of the pot and I mixed a little bit of it throughout. And then um, in the green bag, you'll see that is the um, compost and worm compost blend. I kind of sprinkle that through and I put it on the top and then I, I top it with the succulent and cactus mix to ensure a good drainage and some nutrients. And the reason why I repotted this snake plant, you may not have seen it in the first clip, is because the growth pot was cracked in a couple places and there were some baby snake plants appearing out of that. And as you will see coming up very soon, it is extremely pot bound, or I should say it was extremely pot bound. Now it's uh, happy as can be. One more thing before we get on to the repotting is that I wanted to show you this basket. This basket is great. It's got wire in it. It's very sturdy. It's not overly expensive for a really large basket. Fits this plant great. I will leave the link to it down below in case you're trying to find a large basket too. So what I want to tell you is that the soil mix that I am going to use for this large snake plant is the same mix I use for all of my snake plants, small, medium, and large. Just giving you a little bit of a close up here. Here's that nice chunky blend that's in the pot. Now it's time to score the root ball. Okay. Oh. This plant is heavy enough, let alone after I get it in the pot. Whew. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the pruners and I'm just going to score a little bit. Not going in too deep, I just want to loosen up the outside of the roots a bit because they're so, they're so tight and so bound. So I'm just doing a, a light score here and especially this grouping here Whew. this plant is going to grow and spread like crazy now because it, it's going to have room to really go okay just a little bit more around here and then i'm going to turn it over and do it on the bottom too and then it's Time, uh, time to get the eggs in the frying pan. <laughs> so the plant is in the pot, as you can see, <laughs> and all ready to grow. It's up slightly, not 
too much, but the weight of the plant is going to cause it to sink down too. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get that blend in all the way around and I'll stop about probably two inches from the top, do a layer of compost and then fill in probably with just succulent and cactus mix on the top. So now I'm going to get in a nice layer, top layer of the worm compost compost. Boy, I'm glad I wasn't doing this inside. Someday my potting room will be redone and that'll be a much nicer place to film, but <laughs> right now I'm just making a big mess out here. So I'm going to get it around the front of it. Just nice layer. It's a good way to feed plants and uh, just give them a, a little extra boost. And then the top off with the succulent and cactus mix, which I want to save a bit, bit, bit of this for the Hoya <laughs> because it's going to need it. And I don't really have time to mix up another batch before I film the next couple. So hopefully this is going to do it. Okay, so the table is cleaned up as best as it can be for, for now. But I just want to show you what I do is I just go ahead and poke just one little hole through the newspaper just to make sure that the water does drain out. It will eventually break down, but I want it to be able to flow out, but I don't want all that soil to flow out, especially after I spent all this time and energy repotting this big beast. I can't go back too far because the camera is about four inches away from the pool, but I also don't like the camera in the sun for too long either. But here you can see the finished product and uh, now the, the uh, tough part will be after the video is over to get this off of here, but it is up slightly as I said, but it'll sink down in. I didn't want to water the soil here before because it will make it too heavy. Snake plants really don't need it. I let them settle in dry for like a few days anyway. Um, and then I will give it a good watering in a few days. It's going to go back into the same spot it was in in my office, but now it's got room to spread. It's got a lot of room to spread actually. So don't forget to check the blog post for more videos. The link will be right down below in the description box for you. And uh, be sure to come back. I have a lot more videos coming your way. I hope you have found this to be helpful about repotting a large snake plant. Actually, this is a soil mix that I use for repotting all snake plants. So you can use it for your small ones too. I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I have a few more repotting videos coming for you also, so stay tuned for those. And I will catch you in the next video. And let's get out into our gardens or our indoor gardens and make our world a more beautiful place. Thank you for watching. Bye.